Hello and welcome back. Today what we are going to show is how to create something like this. An, an, an assignment inside Schoology in which you have the assignment. Inside the assignment you have an applet here that, that the student can see how it works and which mathematical properties are implied here. And then they will have to create something like this, to copy something like this and upload their own work. And you can easily see if it's right or wrong by moving the, the independent points and seeing if it follows the, the rules that you ask them to, to follow. Okay, something very important is, for example, there's a tool in Hugebra to create a hexagon given to given uh, two consecutive vertices. So it's, a, it's necessary if you're going to present something like this to, t to put that tool away. Like here you will notice that I have taken off that tool. And, and also I have taken off many tools that were necessary just so it's less distractor for the student. So, so if you're going to do that, be careful because then you will have to prepare another blank page in GeoGebra with the toolbar that you want, with the customized toolbar, like I did here, so he can start working without the other tools. But if I show you all that, how to do everything, all that in, in this tutorial will be too long. I have tried that already and it will be too long and it will be too many information that you don't need now. So I will show you the basic, how to create an inside Schoology, something like this with the applet inside the assignment. Okay. And then I will show you how the student can upload it. And then I will show you how you can check it and it's very easy to, to mark it. Okay. So what are we going to do? First, we're going to, as usual, create the applet that we are going to use. Imagine that I want to create something like this in which I have a square that was formed having two vertices that are not consecutive. This cannot be done with a toolbar that Hohera offers. So you don't need here to remove any tool. Maybe if you want, you can remove tools. Remember that there is a tutorial to do it. You just go here to tools and customize the toolbar. You can do it here. Uh, you can do it that, to have less distractors for the student, but not the student won't cheat. Won't, this exercise is, is not going to be able to cheat in GeoGebra. Okay. And he will have to have some, some mathematical knowledge to be able to do it. Okay. This is what we are trying to do. Depending on the level of the student, the, the things that he will have to do are less or more complicated. Maybe something that you can try here as he will have to use the perpendicular bisector. You can remove the perpendicular bisector tool. This one you can remove it. So he must use the circumferences to create the perpendicular bisector. Maybe you can do it. Okay. But if, if, it's, if this is the first time that you try to do something like this, try to present something with a normal toolbar and then you see, you, you will get there clicking some buttons and, and looking all the tutorials that we've seen, you can easily get, get to that. Okay. So imagine that this is what we want to present to our student. This is what we want him or her to copy because we, we think that here he will have to try different stuff like, uh, okay, knowing that it's a perpendicular by sector and whatever he, he have two not consecutive vertices of a square, how to create the whole square. Okay. This is what we want to present to them. So we save it. We save it here. Okay. And then we start creating in a Schoology the, the assignment. So we have created the applet that we want to present, go to Schoology and add a material that is an assignment to uh, put the applets inside. So here we're going to put something like, uh, okay, this is a new assignment. Okay. And this is instruction copy the, the, the square knowing that the independent vertices must be not consecutive or whatever that you want to put here so him or her can know what he have to do and we're going to try to put the applet here inside so what are we going to do we go back to to Hebra 2 we go to the to the thing that we we did to the applet that we recently have done and with the little three buttons we go to share and here in share you will have the share options and we're going to choose the embed as usual as we've done in every single one of the tutorials be careful in show more you can have things like the input bar or the style bar or the toolbar this is something that they will have to use or the zooming or whatever the labels okay so after you selected everything that you want html you copy this 
uh, code here. You go back to Schoology now, and in here that you want to put the applet, you put switch to the code HTML code, and here you will put by pasting the, the the code that you have recently copied you can paste the code remember that you have to put a category for for the, the grading okay then you put as usual the the period or the 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 grading points whatever that you want to put if it's available for one student for all okay be careful to to enable the, the submissions yes because we will need it and then we go to here and we create it now i'm going to show you how it was Okay, so by going here to new assignment, we will see how the assignment end up being. Here we have the instructions, and here will come the applet. Remember that the first time that you put it, it's going to take a while. Okay, here it is. Okay, so we've done it as we wanted. Okay, now I'm going to show you how a student can upload his or her own work. Okay, I'm going to show you that. Obviously, what what they have to do is go to GeoGebra, open a new page and start creating and once they are finished just can get can uh, upload the file if they download the file or they can uh, send you just the the link to the GeoGebra page okay and that is what i'm going to show you but i'm going to show you that in a new tutorial so we separate the things okay so this is how the teacher creates the assignment bye bye